Hey y'all, I am so sorry that it has taken me so long to finally sit down and talk. I was supposed to finish this last night, but your girl tested out her hookah. I was very chill, vibed out. I was just done for the night, do you feel me? So let's just go ahead and get right back into it. Um, I feel so relaxed now, like, uh, my house is clean. My cleaners came yesterday and cleaned my house. Um, gro picked up my groceries. Like, I'm getting back to, you know, feeling like things are happening the way they're supposed to be. You know, like, everything is right instead of, like, why this not working out? Or this not like I need it to be, blase, blase. But anywho, let's get into life update. So, yeah, I, your girl been going through it. But let me tell you why. So, you know, after one thing happens, then something else, happens. it's like a trigger effect. So then it's like, damn, I'm trying to keep my cool. It's not even in me to, you know, operate and show like what I go through or, you know what I'm saying? Like just show any type of real like negativity or show that something is defeating me. But yeah, sometimes you got to be honest with yourself and just reflect and be like, all right, isolate, 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 isolate. Like, get your shit together. Isolate yourself from whatever it is that's causing you to not function like you're supposed to, not be productive, not get shit done like it's supposed to get done. Um, just everything. So let's start with school, y'all. Mm. First of all, shout out to my professor, Professor Karen Whitman um, from Savannah College of Art and Design. She didn't see me at every stage. Like, I would not have gotten this far in my master's degree about to graduate if it was not for her. I was supposed to graduate almost a year and a half ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I still have not. It's just because life be hitting unexpectedly. And then it's like, you know, you got to, my, my program is uh, project-based. And like, yeah, like quote-unquote assignments, but it's project-based. It was all, everything is hands-on. Majority of the time, group projects. So it's like I was starting to slack. I was not doing my part, and that's not destiny. You know, I stand on my name and make sure that um, my name holds proper weight. And when you start not doing something that you're supposed to do, your name becomes something of the past because you you you're not doing what you're supposed to do. So you something of the past. You you can look past. So at that moment, you know, this past fall, so fall 2021, um, I finally got approved for my candidacy review. For those who don't know, a candidacy review is basically where you have to present what you want to do in your final project. So instead of doing a thesis, I did a final project, um, which honestly, they say it's supposed to be easier, easier, but it's not. Like, I'm sorry for my thesis, people. I'm sorry. But this final project, we had to write a research paper that was almost equivalent to a thesis on top of doing an actual process book in the research, the methodolo methodology, like it was just so much, so overwhelming, but I am blessed that I did go through every single stage that I did. So um, before I continue on, let me go back, run it back, run it back. So I finally got my candidacy re uh, review approved and I started like the pre-project process. So winter quarter for my program is um, January through March. I went through so much during this time period, like, the living environment, um, just everything was really just kind of throwing me off. And my business, like I wasn't getting things done for my business like I wanted to. Ended up not um, accepting some clients like I wanted to. Didn't get my portfolio shoots done. Content, like the whole nine yards. And honestly, y'all, throughout this whole process, I can honestly say that one of my biggest, one of, there, there's, there's three things that has stuck with me throughout this process. Make sure you stay true to yourself, have boundaries and stand on those boundaries and don't let up just because you care or love for people. Um, and number three, have transparency, be real with yourself, but also understand, celebrate the small wins, like small shit matters. It does. It makes all the difference because when you're on a, on a journey and everybody's journey is different, but when you're on a journey, um, celebrating those small wins is showing appreciation within yourself. Like, damn, I really didn't make it this far. Like, I thought that little, that little lesson was something. Each time it's going to get tougher and tougher. You know what I'm saying? But throughout that journey, you're steady building. You're steady growing. And that shit suck when you're in the moment. Like, it really does. Like, you really feel like you face planted into the damn ground and you getting beat up. Like, you getting jumped by life. But you got to understand, 
Um, God is taking you through these obstacles for a reason. He is building up your strength for a reason. Um, but also this bring me to another transparency moment. It's just been a couple of times where, you know, I almost reacted, got out of character um, because of other people's, you know, actions and words. And honestly, I, I've been grown past that. However, you know, I didn't think that I would be triggered by some of the things that have been done. However, I was. And I thank God for like my close friends and also my parents. Shout out to my mama and um, my step pops. Because honestly, when you got shit to lose, you have to have those people around you who bring you back to reality. Because at the end of the day, you know what you're about. You ain't got to prove shit. Nothing. You, have, you don't even have to say a word. You don't have to say anything. Nothing. But what you do need to make sure that you're doing is moving past the... You don't have to respond to everything. You don't have to react to everything. Move past it. Like, yeah, you see it. Yeah, oh, something could have hurt your feelings or something, you know, ain't rub you the right way or you feel disrespected. When you got shit to lose, you better learn to pick your, your battles uh, wisely. And I say that because um, my mama and my homegirl Sasha said the same shit. You know, I was guaranteed to make the wrong move. And honestly, had I, had I made that move, not only would I not graduate it, like, I would have lost everything. My Everything that I own in my name would have been gone. Like, gone. And we have to realize, like, in a split of a second, you know, when you're elevated in life, you're at a certain level. And you already know what's ahead of you because you get ready to elevate to another level. You better prepare yourself. Because everything that you said you wanted and that you're working your ass off for can easily be taken, taken away. Um, so, I say that all to say, you know, make sure that you are truly looking at your resources, looking at the people that surround you. You should never bring anybody into your life. Think twice. Have clarity, have discernment, and make sure that, you know, who the people that's around you, even on a daily basis, making sure that everybody is feeding something into you that's beneficial to you, where you are learning and not staying stagnant, and the, it, there's also transparency. But, um, so that's what happened there. And then recently, like the past month, honestly, the past month, I had to sit down like all of March at the end of February um, through March. I was just like, you know, I'm still fresh in 2022, but I'm not going to let this year like I'm not letting time pass by without, without my 24 hours every day being purposeful. So every single day I have been going in hard at my, my nine to five and for my business. Like I can't wait for you guys to see, you know, what I've been producing um, work wise. And just building myself up, building the brand up, building building the business into something bigger than I expected it to be. And I've had so much support so far. Not every, not all support that I wanted, but enough. I've had the support that I needed to have. So, um, outside of that, like I'm getting so much content done. I have made sure I put put things in places so that I can present myself on a whole new level. Um, I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. But today is like a really busy day for me. Um, and you know, something that like also something else that has been helping is not only staying busy, but having balance with my busyness because I have a, um, I have gotten back into counseling. That's a great thing. Like um, my job um, has like a, a shot. Not, I didn't want to say that in the wrong way. So my job has provided us like support or whatever, just, you know, whenever you want it. And there's, um, a life coach I have and I love her so much I love her so much y'all like she very transparent she give you that moment to you know release how you feel you know then bring you back to reality but being able to talk to her about even about the smallest stuff like has definitely helped so I'm making sure you know you can talk to somebody on a daily basis that has the best for you looks at the bigger picture and not they don't support and try to be your yes man so that's been a blessing um I need to spend some more time with my family. Like I've been trying to incorporate that more. I have been traveling every day of week and I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. But um, it's only up from here, y'all. Like I have so much to put out and show y'all. Like it's gonna come in due time. Um, but today I am filming a lot of things. I am, uh, I have a long ass to-do list, a long ass. And then I need to go ahead and get into uh, working on my business credit. So there's a life update for you. I have three photo shoots this weekend to prepare for and right now it is 12 in the afternoon I've been up since six actually five something a.m to be honest I've been up since six I'm gonna fix something to eat 
watch a little show for about an hour and a half, and then dig right back into work. And I will see y'all in the next video. And oh, wait, but if you have anything you want to ask me, you know, like personally, y'all ask me questions. Talk to me in the comments. What's up? Let's talk about any and everything. So I will see y'all.